Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we will be doing it in the offline mode I would say. Why? Because I am still not sure how to tune the live stream. If you can help with this I will be glad to have some suggestions from you, some advices. But for now today we are going to check the special hobby kit which is modded in 172nd scale. As you can see it copies JA37 Vegan Fighter in small scale. And note that this is a single kit in one box because before it was double version. In one box you got the two sets for two models but now it is something different because we get only one uh, plastic set which will help you to build the model only one of one aircraft. So for some models it might be even better because they just don't need the second kit. As you can see here we have this nice box art and by the way note that this version copies the fighter version of this famous aircraft. Box size I would say is typical for this manufacturer. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Then on this side we have some information about the kit that it's made in Czech Republic, also address of the manufacturer if you would like to visit them and the same can be said about another side. This is a top opening box so just give me a second to open it and here is what we have inside. So of course there is an assembly manual but we will check it a bit later. Um, I will place it aside and we are going to start with this stuff. So these are plastic sprues and I will open this plastic bag and we will check them one by one. Okay. In the meantime, let me remind you that you can help us by pressing the donate button on our website. Some of those kits which are reviewed in our videos, uh, they are bought with your help. So if you would like to see some kit being reviewed, you can just send the money and write what we should get and what we should check for you. Uh, maybe you can, let's say, combine it with somebody and then we will be able to get some interesting kit and check it. So here we can see the first plastic sprue. I will try to zoom in a bit more so that you can see this sprue better. Uh, what do we have here is the lower uh, wing part. As you can see we have nice recessed panel lines here and of course we also have some parts for the uh, nose wings let's say or canards. We also have here parts for the landing gear OX and note that flaps and ailerons they are molded in so you won't be able to retract them on this model. From the other side you can see that they will also serve as a guiding element and the same can be said about the wing edge. Also um, about the wing edge I can say that it's really cool that we have wing edge uh, molded as a one piece part so you won't have to deal with uh, some separate things. Um, also some gaps in this notable area or visible area and that's really cool and so it should simplify and speed up the assembly process. Okay, next we have this plastic sprue which is uh, full of various small elements. As you can see uh, they are molded um, in a quite nice quality. Attachment points are reduced to the possible minimum and landing gear wheels as far as you can see they are molded as one piece parts and for example pilot seat it should be glued out of separate pieces. And here we have one piece dashboard or instrument panel as some of you say. And again I will repeat myself molding quality looks great. Some of those elements can be upgraded with resin or PE from CMK. Actually resin comes from CMK and PE comes from Edward and I will try to open a bit more light. Just give me a second. Maybe it will be possible, maybe not. Okay, so here we have another plastic sprue. This one carries air intake halves. We also have separate fuel tank halves. Here we have the engine nozzle um, doors, let's say. Uh, then we have here the cockpit bases and also the separate one piece nose wheel for the uh, nose landing gear bay. As you can see it is molded as one piece part so you won't have to waste your time trying to align different pieces together. And again molding quality looks really good. Here I can show you those engine parts. They are also quite nice so I don't think you will have any issues here. Okay, next 
this one is interesting because here we get some additional item which will be placed on the fizzle which if you know what it is comment in the comment section below i will be happy to know because i'm not that big specialist on the vegan here you can see also the front canards and as you can see they are molded i think not as a one piece part or maybe as a one piece part so basically if they are one piece parts you won't have to deal with separate house obviously okay next we have two top wing halves so as you remember we had one piece lower half now we have two separate top halves and as you can see they are molded with those uh, segments for the wheel wells because wheel wells are basically molded on them or in them here we have also the tail area molded together with rudder and pitot tube and here we have the frontal section of the air intakes as you can see this is also quite a cool solution, I would say, because it should help you get a proper finish on those parts. Now camera focused, you should be able to see those nice pieces. So that was the sprue. Next we get the sprue with top fuselage section. So it means that you won't have to work with separate halves. You basically have a slightly different parts division, which should help you achieve a more realistic appearance with less time spent. I think it's a definite advantage of this kit, so if you will be careful and you will assemble all the parts as they are intended to, you will get a really nice result. Here you can see also we have recessed panel lines on this element. I will try to focus the camera now, now you should be able to see it. So as you can see it looks really good. And then if we flip it over, there is nothing inside. Here, by the way, you can see these engine parts. They are also good, but as I said, they can be upgraded with resin, which is manufactured by CMK. What is not cool here is this two-piece nose section. I am not such a huge fan of such parts design, so um, if you have a chance to find a resin replacement of this piece, I would rather recommend to do so, even though here inside we have guiding pins, which should help you with alignment. Okay, next we have separate plastic bag with uh, transparent plastic sprues, so just give me a second to open it. Of course here we have canopy parts as you can see, I can bring them closer so that you will be able to check them in detail. And those parts should help you build the open cockpit. But there are no masks included, so if you would like to you know, cover all those parts, and you will have to cover all those parts with masks, you will have to get some aftermarket set or maybe cut them with your own hands. It will depend on your approach to this project. Next we have last grey plastic sprue. This one is also dedicated to the fuselage parts. Here we have several sections of the tail area and also lower half of the nose area. We also have here a landing gear legs for the main section or main landing gear legs and if we bring those parts closer you will be able to see that we have recessed panel lines and also separate air brakes which can be positioned retracted on the finished model. Everything looks fine, we flip over the parts we don't see anything interesting. Why? Because there is nothing inside. It's not a tank interior kit obviously. Um, then here we have separate plastic bag with decals. I'm going to open it and as far as you can see straight away I can say that they are printed in cartograph so printing quality looks really good. Here you can see them all. We also have some decals for the cockpit. Well actually I think it's only one but I can bring closer those decals so that you can see that quality looks great and I hope that it will be easy to apply those decals as well. Okay, so those were the decals, but then we have also this stuff. It's an assembly manual, as you remember, it is printed in a standard special hobby layout, so we have short history note in English and Czech. Then on the next page we have here the parts map, and note how many parts won't be used, because they are designed for use with different version. Here we have paint chart, everything starts with cockpit obviously, and then we continue with installation of the cockpit into the uh, top fuselage half. That's quite an interesting 
parse design. Then we continue with drilling holes in the lower fuselage half. And don't forget to drill them because they will be used for various internal elements. Here we have air intakes assembled or air intake ducts assembled and being installed into the fuselage and basically closed with this fuselage half. Then we continue with the tail area. Actually, this is a steel nose area, but here we start to work on the tail area. As you can see, it will be installed into those two separate halves, which we saw on the last sprue. Then we continue with drilling holes in the lower wing half. Here we join everything together with the tail section. Again, be careful while doing this, even though these lines, um, connection lines, they copy the actual panel lines, still I would recommend to be careful in order to get the more or less uh, realistic finish on those parts. Then here we assemble the nose section and as you can see no need to, uh, to add nose ballast unless aftermarket underwing stores are used so basically they're saying that model should be balanced out of the box and you don't have to add any nose weight in order to make it balanced and avoid the tail sitter here we continue with this addition of the some special container on the lower fuselage panel next we work on the pylons uh, also the tail area as you can see we installed the um, tail fin then we continue here with the engine area here we install the nose landing gear wheel then we start to work on the main landing gear wheel as you remember the landing gear doors were separate so you can paint them and then install into the place I mean it's up to you how you will like to approach this stuff here we work on the front canards also we install the air brakes as you can see manufacturer suggests that they can be placed in an open position the same can be said about the lower air brakes so it is up to you here we install the uh, turbine which is retracted then we continue with the fuel tanks canopy again with canopy you have a choice to open it so it is up to you don't forget to add the nose antenna here and next we can see all three markings which are included here so even though all three markings are shown here we also get the uh, detailed profile on the separate page also here you can see resin accessories which are made by cmk so these include not only the engine nozzle pilot seat the wheels i mean typical accessories but also the figurines which is quite unusual in 170 second scale and i would recommend to check it because i mean there are not that many kits in 170 second scale which can be assembled with pilot figurines here you can see two other markings and then we continue with stenciling guide because even though this is a small scale kit special hobby decided to include all markings here and I uh, believe me it's worth spending time applying all those decals on the model because then it will look even more impressive here we can see other 170 second scale kits from special hobby some of them were reviewed in our youtube channel so I would recommend to check them because for example this vampire is really a nice kit and then here on the last page we have another great jet aircraft kit from the same brand it's Mirage again it's it can be accompanied with resin accessories some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel the same can be said about those plastic kits so if you are interested in this aircraft as well I recommend to check it too so that's all this is the last bonus out of the box and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button because it will help us greatly and you can also press the subscribe button somewhere here because then you won't miss any new video review especially if you press bell button somewhere here and of course I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye!